Staten Island, right? Uh, I'll say this. Well, I'm a Brooklyn guy, but uh, you know, I became acquainted with Staten Island in the '90s because uh, uh, someone that I knew uh, moved there. Uh, my dad moved there from Brooklyn. Like a lot of people from Brooklyn have moved uh, to Staten Island. Uh, the 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 only borough that I would say has the most like native New Yorkers in it at this point, where it still feels like the old New York. Staten Island is fascinating. Um, it's a very weird borough. Uh, there's parts of it that are rural. There's deer everywhere. Uh, the northern part, which is kind of ghettoish now, has uh, some really old houses. Uh, although, if you go up really high, and then you go up really high, the highest elevations in the city are up there. You see some of the old houses. Uh, those areas are not ghetto. Uh, of course, if you go uh, further south, you have the old Richmond town. Uh, where the uh, the British Army was during the war, the Revolutionary War. Right? Uh, you have the South Shore, which is uh, you know always ready to be annihilated by the next hurricane. And you have also the weird uh, Western Shore on the Arthur Kill, which is some of the weirdest areas that I've ever seen in terms of they're very creepy and remote. But anyway. Once again, just, you know, you see the old photos. You see the things that you don't see today. Like, you know, actually, you know, uh, like a functioning society. Right? Very rural, too. Right? Like you got the Italians here, look. Uh, Rename it Garibaldi's Ancient Napoli. Right? So I, I'm one of those uh, people that I'm, I, uh, I, I'm not a fan of Garibaldi. So I'm for the kingdoms. So. <laughs> Yeah, if it was if the resurgence mental was so great, why it was it afterwards that all the southerners came to America and to England and all the other places? Uh, wasn't it supposed to make it better for everybody, right? Don't get me don't get me started. Fuck that about it. Anyway, so of course you have uh, the one thing I like about this book a lot, right? In terms of Staten Island and this here is that you have this woman photographer. Who uh, she took a lot of cool photographs. She took a, you would say they were naturalist photographs. This is before like you know uh, uh, Alfred Stieglitz and that whole movement with the photography of like making it you know um, uh, the opposite. But like her photographs, are, she was a really good photograph uh, photographer back when that you know you had the whole setup right. And you look at the old gym. Look at this, right? It was very. They were very big on the club swinging, right? You had the actual dumbbells, which were barbells. You actually actual barbells, right? The cables. Um, maybe you have some weapons back there, but these are the women. I like the alpha thing. <laughs> the broke guard. And you see, okay, you go. Oh, you think the women were better looking back then? Okay, they they're plain looking, right? Uh, but uh, you know. I mean, you you have some husky women back then too, but it's just it's just different when you look at them. It's like you know, uh, yeah. but obviously going through here, and this is this is the uh, the photographer. Look at that, like a, a very dignified, very interesting. Yeah, it was better, right, back then when you had when you had to dress up, I guess. And I'm the last guy that that likes to get dressed up, but. Uh, you know, for a society that was that was actually functioning somewhat, maybe I would have done that. Okay? And that's not to uh, overlook the issues and the problems that were always there. Okay, what, what problems am I talking about? The labor issue, <laughs> the same issues of today. Okay? I would argue that the issues of today that are very put forth to you by your the people that rule you were not. That significant back then, much less significant than you would even think, and better for all involved. Okay, uh, but not uh, you know anyway. Uh, this is cool. All right, here's an example of what I'm talking about. Oh, hold on, get back. All right, look at these guys. There's a brewery. There's so many breweries. Look at the lager beer. Right, these are obviously German. Rob Sam and Horman, right? These are obviously German names, the lager beer. Look at these dudes. Uh, or if you look at the old mining thing from in Pennsylvania, look at these guys. Can you imagine that the neighborhood these guys lived in? You had a bunch of people uh, coming in to cause trouble. 
Uh, these dudes would have kicked their asses easily. Okay. Uh, uh, well, if you want control and greater control over people, you don't want guys like these. Uh, you get what I, it, once you realize that, and you realize that your 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 police are the the antithesis of this. This is how you keep your neighborhoods safe and functioning. This is how you defy the people that want to control you. Okay. And meanwhile, you 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 work in you're a working man. Honest days work for an honest days pay, right? Uh, you know, come on, man. Uh, there's no there's no come on. I like this way you get to get brewery. Brewers were a big deal back then, man. Yeah. Oh, prohibition. Well, you know, who said? I remember. Pro, I remember Martin Scorsese one time was kind of half apologizing. For prohibition, man. Anyway. Um. Here's another one of those big ass, crazy looking hotels. Look at that. Can you imagine what was going on in there? <laughs> uh, mysteriously burned down. Now, you always wonder the first thing when I hear of a place, a business burning down, my cynical ass always thinks that, ah, oh, it's insurance. Oh, oh, I got the light issue. Let's let's lower that. Let's the white. There we go. There we go. Uh, but uh, you, you, you wonder the fire hazards you have to place. Uh, and there's the photography. I'm just gonna leave it here. She's uh, looking obviously at the uh, the, uh, the Hudson. Right? She had a sort of sad end, and she's buried in Moravia, the Moravian Cemetery. I know what that is, but you know, don't be too sad. She lived, I think, in a good time, a much better time than we have, uh, where you had at least a chance of having a human life, uh, uh, which is now gone. But. Um, I rag on Staten Island a lot, but it really is actually a, a, a borough you should visit if you if you visit New York for some godforsaken reason. Uh, there, there is a lot of things that probably make it more interesting uh, than any of the other places at this point, other than, you know, some parts of Brooklyn and some parts of Manhattan. Uh, no offense, Queens. Uh, but anyway. Look at this. Uh, another uh, another brewery. Look at this real quick. These freaking just I'll end it real quick. The breweries, man. The uh, when they started making these uh, these these giant like uh, I call them utopian city breweries where they're putting out all this beer. They have a whole physical plant. They have a whole. They look cool, man. These places are awesome, dude. There are a lot of these places. I tell you, uh, the uh, the breweries and the insane asylums. Uh, looked really, really friggin' cool back then, so. <laughs> Alright, later.